I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things um, on your calculator. So the first thing is um, I'm going to start a new document. So do that. I'm going to add a uh, calculator page. And uh, one thing is if you arrow up here, it'll tell you what mode you're in. So I'm in uh, radian mode for angles. Now what that means is if I do the sine of 30 when I'm in radian mode, um, it's not going to do anything. Well, I mean, it's going to give you a value, but it's not the value you expect. You should expect to get um, one half. So what I want to do is change that. So to do that, I'm going to press the Home key, and I'm going to choose Option 5 for Settings, and then Arrow Down, and Settings, and I want General Settings. Press Tab once, um, and then Arrow to the right, Arrow Down, press Enter, and then I'm going to press Enter again to um, change that. So now I'm going to press 4 to get back to my document. If I go up here, I'm in Degree Mode. Um, so now it's giving me the 0.5 that I'm expecting. Actually, if I remove the decimal, it gives me the one half that I was really expecting. If I um, change it back, so another way to change is uh, if I click up here, settings is one of the options, and change to radians, okay. Now I'm in radiant mode. Um, I can actually find uh, sine, uh, it's a little faster for me to type, so I'm just typing it sine of 30, if I want to do 30 degrees, if I press the question mark, there's actually a degree symbol, and that forces the calculator into um, degree mode just for this one calculation, um, so it gives me the one half that I'm expecting, um, which I think is pretty useful. Now the mode that you're in doesn't um, matter if you're not evaluating trig functions, so if you're just adding things together, subtracting things, um, finding what are called coterminal angles, it won't matter what mode you're in there, um, it only matters when you're evaluating a trig function. So I want the um, cosine of, you know, 2 pi over 3. So let's see, 2 pi over 3, that's in radians, and it's 120 degrees if you do the conversion. Um, what mode am I in right now? I'm in radian mode, so it's going to give me the answer that I'm expecting, just negative 1 half. Um, so that's when it really matters, and uh, in this course, you've, you've really got to get used to um, switching back and forth. There actually is one more place where you can change settings. It's um, doc, and then you go down to settings and status, um, and then down to settings and then general, and that'll let you uh, change it again. So I can change it back to degrees, um, and now I can do you know the sine of 30 squared plus the cosine of 30 squared, and I'm in degrees, so. I get that answer if I want to change back. I'm going to go back to radians. Uh, let's see what I get here. I also get one. That's suspicious because um, these values aren't the same. Let's see. If I do this, oop, I just get that. I get that. But if I change it to, let me put in my angle, my little degree sign here. I get one fourth, very different. Um, so that's interesting. We're going to investigate that later on in the course. But um, it's like there's something to it. If I take something, uh, the sine of something, square it, the cosine of something, the same thing, square it, and then add those together, I got one both times, even though um, the the square of the sines weren't the same. So uh, that'll be interesting for us to look at. But anyway, that's switching degrees, radians, um, and radians to degrees, just the mode on your calculator, which is super important. So I hope that's helpful.